And uh, taking us through this conversation and sharing how amazing works with us this morning is Grace Fabra. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Mikali. And it's lovely to see you here again. And congratulations. <laughs> the, yeah, last time you were here, <laughs> <laughs> the last time you were here, you were very heavy. Yes. And now baby is here with us at Mikudra Studio. So we're you so know. happy. Yeah, baby Amani. Baby Amani. We thank God. Yeah. We do. We do. Yes. We do. Thank you. You, you were here sharing your story the yes. two times you've been here you've been sharing your story and mm. what it was like but yeah. then over and above that you mm -hmm. have a heart for children yes and what you're doing with women in prison and children in prison is just out of this world yeah how did that come about well hey, i think god just has ways of doing things eh? yeah so um i had a client i was having for fashion and design and uh, she needed some vitenges designed and done for. So as we were talking, I realized I didn't know what career she does. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I always make for you these nice outfits, but what do you do? Mm -hmm. So she told me she works with Faraja Foundation. So I was like, huh? what about Faraja Foundation? Mm -hmm. So she told me she does mediation for ladies in prison especially. Okay. Those who are just about to come out like six months before or three months before they come out. So she helps them with the transition so that they can adapt to the world outside from the world inside. So, and then uh, as we continued conversing, she mentioned something that touched my heart. She said, uh, the thing that disturbs her the most is the ladies with children. You know, I had never thought about we it that way it, at Barbara. all. So I was like, there are mothers with children in prison. How does that happen? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, some of them are arrested with children. Others are arrested when they are pregnant. So they deliver while they are still in prison. Like, hey, so how do those kids survive and how do those kids live? So, like, they live the life of the mfungwa, so to speak, of the incarcerated mother. So whatever the mother does, the child is incorporated in it. There's nowhere to put the child. There's no way to give the child a child life. So she just, he or she just tags along with the mom. So if the mom has a, a duty to do, you wrap your baby on your mgongo and go and do your duty. If your due date has come and you're expecting, you push while you're in chains. Can no. you imagine? Yes, you're still a mfungwa. No, but you can just push. Where, where am I running? You're a mfungwa. Okay. Eh, you might disappear when you are doing that. <laughs> are, we, are we giving birth in, in, the, in, the, in the prison or do we go You to are taken to the government hospital. To the government hospital. Yes, So at they least. chain you. Yes, but you're chained. So you go in cuffs, you deliver in cuffs, you go back to prison in cuffs, then you're given your baby. Uh, it's a katasam like... So w what, what the... Pro <laughs> the I food, know. child needs different... So now, that's where I was like, okay, so that child must be going through a life that they're not supposed to go through. Yeah. And uh, for a few days, at least the mother is given a preferential treatment, but it's in prison. So you can imagine preference. Yeah. Um, so she'll be given extra food so that she can breastfeed. Uh, she'll be given less duties so that she can take care of the baby. But where she sleeps is where the baby sleeps. So you can imagine infections, you can imagine the child's immunity, you can imagine anything that can happen to the baby. Now, if she has been arrested with a child and she has no one to support her or to care for her, she has no diapers, she has no wipes or cotton wool, she has no sanitary towels for herself. Yani, it's just a mess. Yeah. <coughs> very, very heartbreaking. Yes. Yeah. Very heartbreaking. So that's what touched my heart. Now, after that conversation, the following few weeks was my birthday. So my son, a day, was like, Mom, since your birthday is coming up, should you go celebrate with those kids who are in prison? And I thought, yeah, you wreck her. Mm. So I was like, OK, fine. So I called my friend from Faraja. I was like, she's called Teresa. And shout out to Teresa. So I called her and I was like, uh, give me the details of how I go about, I start with Langata. So I started with Langata. So she gave me the contacts of the welfare officer. So we went, <coughs> no, we talked first. So I asked her, what, 
what do you need urgently for the children? Then she was like diapers, arimis, cotton wool, uh, and food, and clothes. So I was like, but food, uh, mostly she insisted on, uh, how do you call uji? Porridge. Porridge. Yes. <laughs> 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 Flour for porridge. Yes. So <coughs> I called my friends and my family members. I said, for my birthday this time, I want diapers, arimis. So they were like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I have a trip to Langata Women's Prison and my focus is the kids. So we planned, my family came through in a very big way and a few of my close friends because I didn't know exactly what I was getting mm, into so mm. I had like a small circle. Then uh, we went with my cousins for, for that birthday party so to speak Yes, and we had the kids and uh, we fed them that day, we stayed with them, we played with them. The welfare officer, I think that time was Josephine. She was really nice. So we had a whole Sunday with those kids. When we left that place, my heart never left. Mm. Yeah, so I kept thinking, okay, so today I've come, what about tomorrow? tomorrow. Yeah, what about next month? What about another baby who will come? Mm. So it kept plodding in my heart, plodding, plodding, plodding. And I'm like, OK, God, what are you saying? What should I do? Then uh, I continued conversing with Teresa. Then she told me, Langata is quite blessed because it has frequent visits. Yes. If your heart is out for them, think of Nini, prisons outside Nairobi. Mm. So like, huh? OK. Tena, OK. okay. Yeah. So I was like, which one? So she said, ah, in a couple of months, I'll be going to Naivasha. If you're willing, we can go. So I'm like, ah, good. I'm good to go. So she connected me to the welfare officer uh, in Naivasha. At that time, it was Madam Ruth. So Madam Ruth, I asked her what she needs. She highlighted the same things. Diapers, arimis, cotton, cotton wool, wool, food, food. <coughs> and, and clothes yes. for the kids. So my focus was just the kids. So she was like, oh, so I was like, okay, thank you. So I started calling my friends again. I said, it's that time of the year. Twende kazi. Nitumiani ma diapers. So I started get collecting diapers, even from the kiosk in the neighborhood. They were like, nipae either na discount amo nipae free. Na palaka niya charity. So I called people, I called people, I was like, please, I need diapers. I need a remis. I need all these things to take to Naivasha Women's Prison. So we went. <coughs> <coughs> for sure, outside Nairobi is very different. First, where they were staying, I was like, eh, okay. It was not the best that you want for a child. Then, uh, at least they had been given a shade, but, um, well, I don't want to disappoint okay. the government here. Okay, okay. But we needed, it's, it's a place you look at and you're like, not fit for a kid. Yes. The kid is innocent. Mm -hmm. The kid has not done anything wrong. Yeah. The kid deserves better. So now that started challenging me a little more. So I was like, now I'll focus on outside Nairobi prisons yeah. and babies. But once in a while, they would call and be like, uh, the welfare officers would call me and say, we need something for the mothers and we need like clothes for them and uh, basic utilities like underwear. Because if you are arrested, like uh, today, and no one cares about you, and there's no visitation, you'll stay with that panty all through until a miracle comes. So you can imagine. Some of them had never gotten a, a change of wear, for the inner wear. So you can imagine how disastrous that can be for a mm -hmm. woman. Mm -hmm. Then that time of the month, they don't have enough because there are so many and so little. Yeah. <coughs> so now, once in a while, I would now chip in towards the side of the mothers, although my heart is really for the kids. But you can't touch the kids without touching the mother. That's true. Yeah. So that's what has been happening. So every now and then, I'll be like, I need diapers, I need arimis, I need cotton wool. I have to visit these children. I have to give them a better life. I have to give them a better future. I have to make sure at least mm. one child has smiled because of me and because of a day. One child has smiled because of Jesus. One child will one day say, whew, 
I never had to go through cut blankets mm -hmm. as diapers or cut blankets as napkin or shared napkins. Oh. A child will grow one day and say, thank you, Jesus, there was somebody who brought me pampers. In what prison. happens when the kids get a bit older? Are when they, they get old. So just now in prison, mm -hmm. they accommodate zero to four years. Okay. Now, you may be blessed if your mom's term is during that time. Mm. If it passes that time, they're taken to a foster home. Yeah. Okay. If so there's no family that is willing to take them. Yes, up. if there's no family. And in most cases... There's no family that is the, willing There's to take no her. family, yeah. Because one thing I've come to realize is like, people think I'm Toto Vamfungwa is bad blood. So Toto Vamfungwa ni kama mfungwa. So they don't take you in. Some are, there's some, some mothers are really innocent. And then some, unfortunately, are very guilty. Mm. So those guilty ones have been troubled at home. Ah, uh, yes. So when they come with their children, the whole family is thinking and the relatives and the friends are like, she's troubled. So even having her kids is trouble. Mm. And maybe her kids will take after her. So that's double trouble. So in most cases, the safest place to take those kids is the foster home. Uh, Are these foster homes readily available for them when they, get to that to when they get to that point? Of course not, but you make do. Okay. Yeah. There are those which are supported by the government, so to speak, in different places. Mm. Um, but they are not all that. And so they are not private, so you can imagine the life there is not... Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. And then now from a prison setup to that setup again, mm -hmm. you can imagine what happens to that child. That is a lot, Barbara. Yeah. How long have you been doing this? For four years now. And it's every do you have a scheduled programming of when it's going to happen? Mm -hmm. So that now we now we asked for help. <laughs> large scale. Large scale. <laughs> yeah, at this time I need large scale help. Where are we um, going this time? I've been doing twice a year, my birthday and, and Jesus' birthday, <laughs> uh, Christmas. Uh, but this year, things took a different turn. Mm -hmm. um, when I went to the prisons on my birthday, something came to my heart, like, okay, so you support these kids, you give them all this, but how about providing a safe place for them yes so i was like okay safe place how now langata women's prison uh, through the courtesy of faraja foundation they were built for a daycare center okay so the kids have a place they can stay during the day they can be watched they have a playground they can play they have toys people have donated so something like that so that came to my spirit i was like oh yeah a daycare center mm -hmm. so i said okay Lord, if that's what we, are ne we need to do, we shall do it. So my heart started thinking designs, architects, uh, my own creativity. How do I go about it? And by the grace of God, once the thoughts started coming, I approached the welfare officers. I was like, I want to build the care center. And in my heart, I'm like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> dreams that are bigger than yourself when you're thinking. You know, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> what have I, am I getting myself into? Uh -huh. <coughs> and they'll be like, huh? You're serious? I'm like, yeah. So they discussed with their bosses and by the grace of God, I got three prisons giving me land. What? That's why I'm saying now I need large scale. Yes. So Naivasha prisons came through, Nyahururu prisons came through, and Muranga prisons came through. Okay. Yes. Pieces of land. <laughs> now for the daycare center. <laughs> <laughs> now we are building. Now we are building. Huh? I have called it adopt a daycare center. Okay. So I'm like, we need a place we can build for these children. A place they can be empowered. A place they can be educated. Yes. A place where they can play with other kids. A place where they can be put for a screen and they watch Superbook and be inspired. 
or CBBs or something for toys. I have got no idea what, what those I'm things talking are. about. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have nieces and nephews. Who I don't think they was. We can't be allowed to watch this. <laughs> okay. Oh, anyway. CG I'll just do that one for okay, the one let's running. That's a YouTube for kids. <laughs> oh yes, that one I know. Uh, so yes. at least something that kids can relate okay. to yeah. and be at par with the other kids in the world. <coughs> okay. So that they can also believe that there's a better life outs outside there. For them. Mm. The sad one sad thing I I realized mm -hmm. when they go to the foster home. Mm -hmm. When they come out, 50% they, 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 they get into crying okay. so that they can go back into that system because that's the only life they know. Can you imagine? Intentionally, yeah. they just go and just, mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. just ask each other, tutoko kwenje tutafanya nini turudi? Just do something criminal and come. So we start imparting knowledge from a very young age. Mm -hmm. Knowledge and, you know, positivity. Yes, that there's hope. hope yeah. For them. Have mm. you started building? Now, mm -hmm. Mikali, we have to run with this vision together. <laughs> we are running. We are here. To see, we are here. Yes. How are we so running? Now what do you need? I have, I have, by the grace of God, we already have the plans. Mm -hmm. the architectural plans okay we have we have the land yes we have the archite architectural plans. plans then we have labor we have labor yes okay because of the 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 guys in prison okay yes. okay okay so that's labor yes so the only thing we need to do is get the building up that means we need the materials for we this. need materials we need mabati we, 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 we need, need nails we need concrete maram uh, windows, uh, Milango. cement, eh, uh, win mm. uh, did I say windows, roof, mm. paint, yes, yeah, so if you know, I can have kinjo ivi, yes, uh, wapi <laughs> you wane. already said it, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so they've supply, had. supply, like, yes. this, like that, yeah, we need all the help that we can get from the, from the architect's, um, estimates, each, 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 um, daycare center, daycare center, it's costing about five million from the ground all the way up and furnished. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Everything intact. So we are trusting God for each daycare center to to raise five million, five million, five million mm -hmm. to get it up and running. And I'm not stopping with those three. No. Mm -mm. Kukwana overflow the better because yes. I want to go to each county and make sure each child in prison has something to hope for. Absolutely. Something to are we are we having to. conversations in the governments of this count the county governments when it comes to this? Is there is there, there at least there was a kahint of there was a kahint mm -hmm. through Madame Winnie Ngushu mm -hmm. and I hope she watches your program. So I, she can I, I hope call I hope so I've too. been trying to get her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And uh, in one of her conversations she she mentioned that she would want daycare centers built in in prisons and she also mentioned she would want a safe place where fathers in prison can connect with their children oh my god yeah okay so i was like the daycare center is actually going to now that had come after i'd already started the works and all that and mm. i was like i think god is confirming something here yeah sorry and con and saying something mm. so i think that's one of the things that has made me feel more confident to push it. You yeah. started this journey not knowing where it will take you. And every Kabisa. day from Langata to different counties, yes. four years later, mm -hmm. you're still at it, not doing yeah. grand things yes. for the vision that you had for the children yeah. in prison. And most of the times we don't take time to think about what happens to those children, what happens to their mother, their mm. daily care, yes. what they eat, what they wear. And mm -hmm. thank you so much for highlighting that today. Yeah. How can we <coughs> chip in now? Where do we call? Uh, who do we get in touch with? Is <laughs> there a till pay bill? What do we do? Yeah. To uh, There's a lot we can do. First of all, um, the diapers collection, let it not stop. Yes. Because that one is needed. Yes. So diapers, arimis, cotton wool. And now I introduced underwear for the mummies. Yes. 
uh, and and sanitary towels for yes. for moms. Yes. But um, in terms of pay bill, we have pay bill number six six zero nine nine seven six six zero nine nine seven. Mm -hmm. That's the pay bill That's number. That's the pay bill number. What's the account? Account adopt a DCC. Adopt a DCC. That yeah. means adopt a daycare center. Yes. So adopt a DCC is the account name. The pay bill number is. Six six zero nine nine seven nine nine seven. Yeah, so that's where we send all our contributions to. Yes, and if we want to bring the diaper physically or the clothes and the undies, how do we go about it? Uh, you can contact us through zero seven zero 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 two seven nine seven. See that again. Zero seven zero 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 two seven nine seven. I am wishing you all the very best. You can hear the sick tune is up. <laughs> Our yeah. time is up and I hope I've covered everything there is. I and hope I hope you we have. will walk this journey. When you collect, yeah. you will Eh, yes. Asante. Eh, Asante. 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 We are joining uh, quickly M. Changa. Okay. You just check for Adopt a Daycare Center. You'll be given our link okay mm. great yeah. thank you so much Barbara thank always lovely you. having you we are taking a quick commercial break we will be right back <laughs>